Oh, there's the sun. It's behind that cloud. Do you see that? Yeah. It's called the Frozen Fire Festival. How do we get one of these little ice cube things? Okay, so we are here in Orlando <laughs> International Airport. Yes, and we are going to be boarding soon to go to Boston. Massachusetts. Let's go. I'm so excited. Yeah. All right, we made it to Boston. We're going for the baggage claim now. We have the whole bus to ourselves. Look at this. Now arriving. Ah, here we are. Lentil cars. We got a Mustang for this trip. Oh my gosh, we're so fancy. We've got the <laughs> Mustang. Now are my seats? Oh, they are heated. Perfect. We need that here. All right. This is cool. My, so the trunk obviously is so small. We could only fit Mark's luggage back there. Like one thing. And then are the rest of the stuff's in the back seat. We made it to the room and it's pretty spacious actually. So we're on the ninth floor. The water? I think they have it in the lobby. At Yeah, I can get you some. They have it behind the desk. We can get one street go down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so here's the bed. Very nice. Here's the view. Wow, they have like lumber and everything. <laughs> so gray. It's very gray, but that's Boston. Oh, and there's like a sitting area over here. Oh yes, and the sink and everything. Let's look at the bathroom together. That's often a fun activity. Let's see, we turn that on. Okay, yeah, there's the sink and the toilet and the shower with the bath and everything. This is so beautiful. We're here in like a historic area in Boston. Also back that way is adorable. Like the way the street curves around like that is so stunning. We'll have to look for a restaurant down here. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's the one thing. The parking's only 30 minutes. So we'll have to up it when we come back through and then we can I don't know, I guess hope to eat within 30 minutes. <laughs> ah. We found the nut factory. They have all of these like nuts in here. You can fill up a whole tub of them. Wow. Look at that. And we got some fun stuff here. Um, I wanna eat now. The dates. Don't spoil your dinner. The only one. I yeah, only one. And I got some flavored nuts in here as well. Uh-oh. I got some flavored nuts and some other like little party favors for people, or not party favors, <laughs> gifts for people. Like, it's, so cold it's really not that bad. It's so beautiful. You're not used to it. <gasps> oh, look, look. I think we can put this one on Christmas the trees. Do you can put this one in the car now. Uh-huh. There's, there's Christmas trees down there. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh. All we need is a horse-drawn carriage and Santa Claus. So we dropped off the bag. We have like 10-ish minutes. And on the way, we stopped over at the restaurant. They don't have any availability for like the next couple hours. So what we're gonna do is actually explore this way a couple minutes, then backtrack and find a parking garage that the guy at the restaurant mentioned that we could park at. So we don't keep running into the 30 minute time slot problem. Oh, that's a pretty building. See with the window hanging out, the green, the green there. The lights. Wow, we parked and we are in Boston Commons. So essentially, there's this big park here, and then you go underground to park your car, and up top here, you park yourself. All right, well, we got a spot here at the 1880s or 18 something 1928 bar. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's right there on the sign. So I'm really excited, it's really beautiful here. This place is so cute. I love all of the decorations here. It's such a vibe. Wow. I think I want to do the the hill, the hill suburban. And as far as food, I'm looking at salmon and Mark is looking at roasted chicken. They both just sound really great. That's amazing. Mm. 1928 Beacon Hill. Okay, the food came and this is a salmon. At first I was like, what is this? But it's inside here. And then there's also the asparagus and mashed potatoes. And Mark got the chicken, which looks amazing. And then also some pineapple juice. So the food was absolutely amazing. I had the salmon. Mark had the uh, chicken, roasted chicken. And this is a really beautiful picturesque street. I think we're going to come back here another day 
when it's sunny. Wow, we're gonna come back another day. Look, they have like cobblestones. Okay. It's beautiful. <laughs> Mark having. <laughs> it's okay. Clothing for your hat. For my bonnet. <laughs> a bonnet. The uh, beanie cap. And also like um, some gloves. Gloves. Oh, yeah. It's not that cold. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like 42 or something. Yeah. Oh God. This is so pretty the way they did this with all the little holly and everything. Beacon Hill Hotel. Okay, we are coming up to our hotel for the night. Oh, it's blinking. We have a light show. See, see. Huh? <laughs> the wind? Or the, oh, yeah, yeah. I know, there's, you can see your fog. Or your breath, wherever it's going. <laughs> you, can see, you can see your fog. Anyways. It is our first day here in Boston. And actually, we are it's leaving. Day. Well, it's our first full day. Okay, yes. Yeah, and we're going to go to New Hampshire of all places. Look at our view. This is so neat and the traffic is low. But we're going down for breakfast this morning in the hotel here. And it's the Hampton Inn. And sweets. They have a whole waffle station, which is always fun. Oh, they have chocolate chips and strawberry. Wow. You're a professional waffle waffle tier. Waffle 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 -yay. Okay, here we go. Let's get that oatmeal out of here. Actually, it's hard to do with my left hand. Mmm. A hard-boiled egg, some potatoes, and a little waffle. You also got a waffle. Mm -hmm. Some and, chicken oh, sausage and, and an omelet and mm -hmm. potato and some beer. No, apple juice. juice. This is a fun bridge over here. The weather, not so fun this morning. It's a little bit drizzly, but we are making do, and we're actually gonna head about an hour up north, and we're gonna go to Kittery first, which is in Maine. There's the bridge that we were just under, the one that looks all fun. This is exciting. What's over here? Another tunnel. There are a ton of tunnels here. Lots of tunnels, they, they love them. Actually, I think they ran out of room, so they just had to go underground. That, that would make the most sense to me. Oh yes, look over there. They've got like a, a hill over there. Oh wow, and all those houses up in it. That's a good looking mountain. We made it to Maine. Yeah, Piscataqua River. Here we go. Kittery, 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 Kittery. Oh, there's trees everywhere. They put a lot of trees here. Look, Austin School, 1873. They have all these like, little winding roads in here. We're trying to find maybe like a downtown area to see if they have like a cute main street or something. And we're at the Kittery Trading Post here. And I'm actually not sure what to do here in this town, but we're going to go into this because it's like, I don't know, it looks like the most interesting place that I've seen yet. That's a good one. It's like old license plates. There's our magnet for the refrigerator. Mark's gonna get some gloves. <laughs> These are about $30 and you can use your phone with them. So that's cool. And then also his hat. I'm getting nothing. <laughs> this is a cool hat. I like that one. Yeah, there's like so much stuff here. All like random things you put around your body. We found this great little taffy place. It's called Yummies Candies and Nuts. And we just made ourselves a nice little baggie here full of taffy. Oh my gosh, and they have all of the jelly bellies here. Wow. Oh my. Wow. That is true. Hey, there's these things you like. The, the peach O's. Oh, wow. How much are they? Four dollars. Yeah. You want them? But for you, not me. I don't like them. Are hmm. you sure? <laughs> yeah, if candy's in the house, I'll eat it regardless. Oh, they've got all this licorice. Oh my. You can have those if you want. I really like them. 
Which one do you want? Licorice. I like uh, red or Green cherry. Okay. Classic cherry. How much are they? Five dollars. We made our way to York, Maine, which is really beautiful. There's this main street here that you can kind of go through, and they have wonderful architecture here. And then look at this. Isn't that amazing? It says 1747 and 1882. Oh wow, I like this building that says York Realty Co. That's fun. What a beautiful area. There's actually a tea shop that I want to go to. I think it's just right around the corner up here. And it's a really pretty big blue building. And they have tea. You can see the two different churches they have here, like that. And then this is the little tea place, but I don't know if it's even open actually, now that I, I'm seeing it up close. It's a beautiful building, really. Oh, there's a statue of a man there in the center of this like circle drive. I don't know if they're open. Oh no. Yeah, this is the building, but I don't think it's open. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay, it is spritzing here in Portsmouth. <laughs> so we're headed down to dinner, or lunch I mean. And this is a beautiful area. I would highly recommend it. Do you know where our food is? Do you know which way? Oh, it's just right here. Oh, that's amazing. Surf restaurant. Oh wow, yeah, that's a great view. We have a little high top table here. Okay, so we're actually both gonna get the lobster. We figure we're in New Hampshire, we're along the coast here. So we'll get the one and a quarter pound steamed lobster, coleslaw, choice of potato, rice, and buttered broccoli. You're getting the same thing. Yep, I am. Also, I wanted the mocktail. So we're actually, <laughs> and he said he wants that too. So we're both gonna get the mocktail, which will be a fun little thing. And I should have got coffee, but no, it's okay. We don't need coffee. Oh wow, it is like raining, but it's beautiful. It's so stunning. So they have this like little walkout balcony you can check out. And so I wanted to uh, peep out here and see while they're making our food. It's adorable. Wow, this is our little appetizer fun here. Lobster futamaki, I think you said. It's like lobsters on Topsa sushis. That was so good. We finished it. Amazing. Mm. Oh my gosh. Look at this lobster. This is amazing. It comes with the broccoli and then the toysa potato. I am ready. And then you get in there and eat him up. Okay. You don't even They don't even give you the gloves. Gloves? That's okay. We just finished the meal and it was so great. And here we are on this wonderful street. Oh, they have no ice cream. Aw. That's sad. Or this one. Oh, wow. I like this. That's neat. That's kind of fun. I think this one, it's more... How much is this? It's only 10? That's so good. For like, how much more this has on it than the other. It's the same. Yeah. $10. That's so great. These streets are really impressive. Wow, this is the other way, and we just sort of came from that direction. This is so neat. Okay, it is just really chilly out here this morning, but it is a wonderful, well, it's beautiful. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So, yeah, we're trying to get, well, Mark's trying to get photos of, like, different things, and we're trying to get that. Oh, there's the sun. It's behind that cloud. Do you see that? Yeah. So... It is just stunning over here. And then I want to get a cup of Joe's. Or a cup of Joe. Just one Joe. Oh, this is really cool. We're both going to get a donut and a coffee. Oh, look at these cakes. That looks so good. Oh my gosh. This place is totally a vibe. What did you order? <laughs> He wanted a caramel macchiato, but I don't know what this is. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Yeah. Oh boy, sip it slowly. I have my coffee, and I got my donut, and you also got a glazed donut. You can get more if you want. 
<laughs> it says welcome to Portsmouth. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Sure. It's New Hampshire. We are here in Salem, Massachusetts, and I went and visited the Bewitched statue, which was amazing. Oh, this is cool. Salem Witch Museum, 1692. That's neat. It's a Wizard of Oz signed photograph by Margaret Hamilton. She played the Wicked Witch. The Salem Witch Museum was amazing, and I would recommend it if you are in the area because you do learn a lot of interesting things. I learned that the whole witch movement was really started by hysteria and just the incorrect thinking methods. Basically, people were blaming anybody that they disagreed with, that they wanted to get in trouble of being a witch, whether or not there was any substantiating proof of that or not. And it was just it was just interesting. But we are in downtown Salem right now, just walking around in the evening. They have this outdoor party thing going on. S'mores and hot chocolate. I'm all about it. Let's go. And they have all these food trucks as well. Oh, wow. What do we have here? It's called the Frozen Fire Festival. Wow. This is pretty neat. Wow. This is cool. How do we get one of these little ice cube things? I think we just go in inside. We say hello. Oh, you have to get a reservation if you want one. Wow. Oh, it's like the fire festival that, okay, over in Arizona, I guess it is. Except it's not at all like that. Oh, wow. I'm here for the hot chocolate and s'mores. I was promised that with a sign. Look at that cool chair. Oh my gosh. Found it. S'mores and hot chocolate. That's what I'm gonna get. Talk to myself for hours. There are things you don't understand. Got my hot chocolate and my make my own s'more kit. We're gonna go inside of this hotel over here. It says 1925 Hawthorne Hotel. It looks so cool. Historic Hotels of America. Wow. Oh, look at this lobby inside. So beautiful. Oh, it's so quaint. Absolutely stunning. Maybe they're doing like some sort of a party here. Oh yeah, they're doing like a wedding. Oh, I love those elevators too. Let's go this direction. I'm just, I love looking at these old old hotels. Look at this, the letters. So we're eating here inside the hotel. I thought it would be really fun, so. It's very cool. I like all the woodwork in here. I think I'm gonna do their seafood chowder because of course it's New England style. And that's the best thing to do, I think, here. This is the clam chowder, or I mean the seafood chowder. And then Mark got the chicken curry, which looks amazing, on a huge bed of rice. Well, we just finished the meal, and it was amazing at that hotel. Everything I got, my little soup, or no, my chowder was so nice. So, we will wrap this video up. You look so funny with your, with your... <laughs> <laughs> I'm very cold. <laughs>